Speak Student. Formal proofs. Alashma. Dear sir or madam, you are cordially invited to attend the formal proof, a black tie event exclusively for geometers of the highest esteem. Upon arrival, please form two columns and show this invitation at the door for admittance. A-list members from all circles of the geometric world will be in attendance, so please wear your best surface area and enjoy live music, complimentary cheesecake, and a night to remember. Proofs are all about showing evidence for why something is true, kind of like the detectives on your favorite crime show. Formal proofs take this a step further. They present the evidence in two columns, one for the statement they're claiming is true, and the other for the reasoning behind them. Usually these reasons take the form of definitions, theorems, postulates, or given information. They lead us step by step from the hypothesis to the conclusion, like fancy tour guides. So if A equals B and B equals C, can we prove that A equals C using a formal proof? Well, let's give it a shot. First, we'll make two columns, one for statements, one for reasons. We'll start with what we know. We can say that A equals B because that's given to us. Same goes for B equaling C, given. We want to prove that A equals C. So we can use the transitive property of equality. That's all it takes. We've proved what we wanted to prove using a formal proof. Once you learn more definitions and theorems, you'll be able to write longer, more complicated proofs. Don't look too excited. No! If we can write formal proofs, we're certainly geometers of the highest esteem. So let's head to that ball and have ourselves a big old hunk of cheesecake, or five. Mmm, tasty.